the history, well, it was uh, back in uh, 1985, uh, Northern was founded, um, and uh, I purchased it um, in uh, early 2004. So it was uh, almost 20 years old when I purchased it. And uh, that puts us at, uh, what if I have that right, 36 years, I think, uh, 36, 37 years now that uh, Northern's been serving uh, the uh, Orion uh, community as well as surrounding communities. Times are changing, and uh, I, I'm a big believer in that if we don't change with them, um, then uh, then we're going to be left behind. And so, uh, yeah, you know, when I bought the store, it was uh, located there in uh, the plaza next to OPA, uh, which is uh, that plaza is most known for. And, um, and we were there for a long time. Um, and then um, I had the opportunity to buy a building on 24, which I, I did with the, uh, the intention of going to a, a more full service, high end, kind of a destination flooring store. And the reality is at the same time I was doing that, the industry was changing. And the industry was changing to a lot of online sellers and to uh, the big box stores. Uh, really the strength of the big box stores has become um, very challenging for independent retailers. And many independent retailers went away. So at that point, I uh, made the decision to change up the model. Um, and it was painful because I we had a beautiful space there and um, still that great reputation. But um, I, I believed that we needed to, uh, to evolve. And now you know, the great thing is with the floor trader, the addition of the floor trader, we have a lot more space here. We have uh, over 100,000 feet of flooring in stock and we have better buys than anybody. I mean, any big box store, um, when it comes to quality for price, there is nobody that can touch us and especially our independent uh, retail friends and, and big box and you know the Costco's and all of them. So we've created a destination that gives uh, customers what they need regardless of what end of the spectrum they're on in terms of their needs for flooring and, um, and I couldn't have done that in that location so as much as it hurt uh, we, we did what we had to to be relevant uh, for today's customer and they're, they're why we're here so if we aren't changing for them then I think uh, that we're making a mistake. Um, I love what we do and we're proud of our business but the reality is um, uh, I'm a believer that it is our responsibility as a business in a small community to, um, to take care of our community. And, um, and so, you know, we started uh, many, many years ago with um, a few efforts, like we used to do packages for the troops when the, uh, we had a lot of people overseas, and we did that in honor of one of our locals that uh, passed, uh, Raymond Plower, who uh, was, uh, lost his life in the, the conflict in Iraq. And, uh, and, and so back in those days, we were there for that family and we, we built a partnership with them. And then it just kind of evolved to anytime there was a need, we tried to jump in. And, and quite frankly, I spend uh, um, way more of my time doing that at this point personally than I do on our business. And I leave that to our staff, uh, which is, uh, you know, we're real proud of them as well. Um, but the reality is there's a lot of needs. Um, most recently, obviously, Oxford uh, took over our facility and we, we were, um, you know, kind of the, uh, the logistics hub for everything that was happening in Oxford. Uh, but right now we're dealing with uh, the fire downtown. We have a fundraiser for them this weekend. We also are collecting food for, for this food drive. And I'm looking forward to being a part of that as well and helping to make sure that you guys meet the goal. Um, so there are so many needs in our community. And, and I'd say more than, more than ever, at least it feels that way. And so um, we, uh, we believe it's our responsibility and duty to be a part of that. And, and quite frankly, we encourage um, all of you out there uh, to patron the businesses because when I when I do anything in charity we reach out to all my local business friends and there are many of them that come through time after time after time and are here for us to help us be able to take care of people when they're in need in these tragedies and um, I would encourage you to to follow me follow what we're doing and those businesses and support those businesses in the community because the reality is if if I didn't have those businesses to lean on I couldn't do what we do as a team here and as a team in the community to help others. So we, we need businesses that give back and um, we just uh, really encourage our, our locals to keep that in mind when you're making purchases. If you're buying from a big box store, not that they're bad people, but they probably aren't doing a lot in our local community. And, uh, and there's a lot of businesses that you know don't focus on the community and we just think that uh, your money would be better spent in helping those that help make our community the great amazing place that it is. You guys need to drive up here with some food, better yet, drive up with some cash. And if you're a company, you need to call in and you need to, you need to donate some money to help 
keep this food pantry stocked for all of our guests. So I challenge all of you, join us in this fight. And, uh, and if everybody does a little bit, it's really not that challenging. And we can, we can do uh, great things together.